Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. My name is Coast Child Donkster Bomb, Bob Bill for Theme Parks, and welcome to a Coast Child Reacts. Now, today, we're going to be looking through the Nemesis Subterra Q Line and Show video uh, from the Alton Towers Resort. Now, this was uploaded by Attraction Source, uh, so shout out to them, of course, formerly known as South Parks, of course, based on Towers Times. Uh, so, shout out to them for this video. Go and check it out. The original video link is in the description down below, so you can check it out for yourselves. Uh, but we're going to get straight into this. Please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. Uh, please go into the description where you can find links to Twitter. Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, the Discord server. I can also find links to the Google Forms to submit your own video ideas and content suggestions, which we'll all record in the summer. Let's get straight into this then. So this is the video that you sort of hear and, and you know, visually see uh, during the queue line experience of the old dark drop tower attraction uh, that opened back in 2012, closed at the end of 2015, and um, yeah, and we, and, we've, and we got the official confirmation it wasn't coming back in back in 2019. Uh, we did a video on that. We did a theme park news update on that. So let's get straight into this and react to the Q-Line and Show video for Nemesis Sub Terra. Let's get it on. For decades, Phalanx has been delivering tactical security to sensitive regions very high tech. across the world. Very, very high tech. ...to the latest satellite tracking technologies and boasts a 48-hour response time to any location on the globe. Phalanx is authorized by most international governments to use any reasonable force to achieve its objectives. The proper went for it as well. They really did go for it. The facility you are about to enter is one of Phalanx's most recent acquisitions, and potentially its most exciting. Phalanx was deployed to this location when excavations near There's the research facility. revealed hidden cave systems extending for several kilometers below ground. Recent discoveries at this site have prompted Phalanx to upgrade its security status to Category 1. These discoveries represent an astonishing research opportunity for this. When well, we're going to see the phalanx operatives back in action, comment down below. Safe access is now guaranteed for both scientific personnel and civilian visitors. I love the transition of the logo as well. That's one thing I love, the transition of like the, the logo and how it sort of transitions. Welcome, Sergeant McTain. Has been authorised. Nemesis Archive Retrieve. That all information held on the Phalanx database is regulated by international data protection protocols. The original Nemesis files vanished under mysterious circumstances, but copies exist and Phalanx operatives are resourceful. The images you are seeing prove that even Project 42 vibes with the top secret folder. 1994, all was not as it seemed. Bit of Nemesis story there. Retrieving data. The area you are about to enter is an extension of the original excavation as detailed in the Nemesis archives. For your own safety, you must obey all instructions given to you by the Phalanx operatives. Due to the magnetic resonance of recently exposed underground structures, the observation chamber, billions leave all baggage at the surface before descending underground. The chamber's where the drop tower bit happened. That's the whole story behind the drop tower element of the ride. The big observation chamber. Documenting the system of caves lying beneath the Nemesis site. Approximately 27 kilometers of tunnel have been explored and mapped. A growing catalogue of scientific discoveries is now stored in this facility's central core. The most significant of these finds has been made accessible to the public. Research lab. Please remember to obey all safety instructions during your visit to the core. All hazardous material has been made safe for civilian viewing. There 
there you go. Um, so yeah, this was the. Oh, <laughs> stop it there. Um, so yeah, this was this was the Q line and show video for Subterra, and overall, like it, you know, the whole story behind it and the way it sort of intrigues me is very interesting, and I think the. Um, you know, the whole story behind it and how they integrate the story and, you know, the way that the Q-Line video works and, you know, things like that. I did want to pause it as much. Obviously, if you don't want me talking over it, then the original video is linked to the description so you can check it out for yourselves. But, you know, it was interesting to pick out a few certain bits here and there, like the research lab, how much detail they've got in the Q-Line video. Um, and, you know, comment down below if you want to see some kind of new permanent attraction in the Nemesis Subterra building. I mean, they're doing Gangster Grand in the Ride in the, the Wobble World building. Why not bring something into the Nemesis Subterra site? So, uh, if you do want to see that, comment down below. And I may do actually a debating video in the future about what could be done with the Nemesis Subterra site. Uh, stay tuned for that. But, um, yeah, it's it's very interesting. It was great to sort of look back on that. Because, of course, this opened way back in 2012. I was only an enthusiast for coming up to two years at that point. So I knew I'll, I saw the construction of this attraction. I knew where this was going. This was replacing the old Dynamo ride. And of course, if Project 42 is not coming back for this year's Scarefest, what's going to happen to the building? I don't know. Uh, but overall, you know, it was nice to sort of look back through the Alton Towers archives, look through this uh, video from the Phalanx operatives, and who knows? I mean, so I think someone put an April Fool's joke on about Nemesis of Terror coming back today on Twitter, but... You know, wouldn't it be actually really, really good to see Subterra come back in maybe a new attraction form, maybe a new dart ride form? I don't know. Uh, but there we go, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this Coast Shell Reacts on the Nemesis Subterra Q line and show video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, cut notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Chow. Keep living the coastal life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a subtastic day. I should have said Subterra day. Oh, no.